Hey guys, so this is my 25 week update. I'm 25 weeks and 5 days today. A late day again, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, same excuses last week. I've been really, really busy this week. Um, which is probably going to be like this until Christmas, if not after as well. But I will try and keep them flowing and keep at least doing them every week anyway. Um, so, weight gain. I have gained another pound since last week, which is good because it's supposed to be gaining about a pound a week. Um, so that's 15 pounds altogether since the beginning and 6.8 kilograms since the beginning, if you want to put it in kilograms. So yeah, I'm right on track for where I need to be, so that's good. Maternity. I actually have bought some more maternity um, this week. I bought some jeans which I'm wearing, so I'll show you later. They're just black jeans that um, come up over the belly. Um, got a band bit that comes up over the belly. They're nice skinny jeans, they fit really well and they're really comfortable. Um, I got them from H&M, yeah, for £14.99, so that was really good. And I also bought um, this top. It's just a plain, big, long sleeve um, top. It's not maternity, it's just a size 10, like, from Primark, basically. So I think it was like three or four pounds, something like that. It, it was cheap, anyway. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get some more long sleeve tops that I didn't mind stretching because um, I've got some others that I would like to try and keep for afterwards so I don't really want to stretch them. Um, this is a little bit big because it's size 10 but it doesn't matter, it's just supposed to be keep me warm during the winter. So yeah, I think that's all of the bits. Oh yeah, and I brought a bra, um, another size up. So <laughs> yeah, that's all of the maternity clothes that I bought. Stretch marks? No. Um, my belly and boobs have still been extremely itchy this week, like I find myself itching them a lot more even, um, especially today I feel like I keep itching it and then I'm like no stop! Um, but yeah, I have been still using my belly butter cream but I think I am going to have to try some more, I think I might try some different ones um, and see if, any, it, if it changes or helps or whatever but yeah. <laughs> Sleep, still the same as last week. Um, still feeling, you know, like I'm sleeping really lightly, um, up and down. I haven't been going to bed that early, I've been struggling to get to sleep at night. Um, sometimes it feels like I've got pregn pregnancy insomnia, but yeah, <laughs> to be honest it's sort of become the norm um, and I'm kind of used to it, so. Oh well. Um, best moment this week. It's kind of hard, I've been, like I said, busy. Um, obviously I had the midwife appointment on Monday, which I was looking forward to, and it was good, it was alright, like, baby's fine and everything like that, like, there was nothing really wrong. Um, just the midwife that I had wasn't my usual midwife, and she was really annoying. <laughs> she um, read my file and started having a go at me, saying, like, um, something to do with, like, it. Um, a urine infection and I was like, she, she just started rambling off on one at me and I was like, well hang on, what? I haven't had a urine infection. She was like, it says in your notes that you have and I was like, what? Since when? Like, I haven't been told and then she, um, uh, she read it again and I was like, I had an ear infection if that's what you mean and then she realised that she'd made a mistake and that's what she meant but she didn't really apologise, she sort of was like, oh well, well you should still be careful and it was like, it was just a bit rude to be honest and yeah she was just really sharp and blunt with me and it was like okay like I haven't done anything wrong here but I don't know maybe she was just having a bad day <laughs> give her the benefit of the doubt <laughs> but yeah no otherwise that was a bit pants and it was like quite quick and she wasn't very I didn't really want to talk to her after that about anything so um I did cover the few points I did want to like um checking the, the cramps and the dizziness and stuff like that. She said that my blood pressure is fine and that, um, just to keep an eye on it, she said it is typical and normal during pregnancy, obviously, um, which I kind of knew anyway. And she just said that um, when, at 27 weeks, I've got a blood test anyway and I should make sure that I have the results for, of that for my midwife when I have my appointment, my 28-week appointment with her. So, well with my bit of wife, so 
yeah, hopefully it should be fine. There was a, you know, that, that should check if anything's wrong. There's no point in really doing one sooner because it's like not that long away. So like I'm 25 weeks, so, <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, otherwise best moment I'd say was really kind of today. We've been busy over the last couple of days, but today we actually managed to go shopping that I needed and get some stuff that I needed, well, I wanted to get. <laughs> so I shall show you some of the baby bits I brought in a minute. Um, miss anything? Probably the same as last week, not feeling so painful, like, you know, my tummy and stuff. I took my dog on a walk that I hadn't done in a while the other day and it was so hard to climb back up a hill that's near like where we where I take him on a walk <sighs> I was like why did I choose to do this walk it was quite a long walk as well and then I had to climb back up this hill and it was a nightmare because <laughs> it's quite steep and it really hurt and normally you know it'd be fine I just do it anyway but yeah it's, it's definitely starting to take its toll on my like lower stomach and stuff and having more weight obviously to me um but yeah just not feeling so much like a beached whale <laughs> to be honest um but yeah movement yes she's still moving lots and in fact i'm not sure if i have put it up yet or not but i managed to film her moving you do have to watch carefully because the camera doesn't pick it up amazingly but yeah, I managed to film her the other day, so that should hopefully be up before this, so go check that out. Um, but yeah, so she definitely has been moving a lot more, and to the point where hopefully the camera should have been able to, well, the camera did pick it up, but yeah, you still have to watch it carefully. <laughs> Food cravings? No. Symptoms? <laughs> Gonna be going over the same again. Um, heartburn, acid reflux, backache, stomach pains round ligament, crack leg cramping, feet cramping. <laughs> I've been definitely getting pinched nerves and stuff um, in my legs. I think it's obviously worked from where she's been laying. Um, what else? Oh yeah, my, I would say I've become a little bit more clumsy this week and my balance and standing still for like in cues and things. I think it's partly my impa my patience is being tested, but like I'm so, I just hate it. Hate standing in cues and standing still and yeah just it's a pain <laughs> but yeah belly button in or out it's out still and you can see it very um obviously in the video where like i show you my um show her moving and stuff um because the angle is like looking down on my belly so yeah <laughs> um happy or moody most of the time pretty happy still feeling quite stressed and like I said my patience is definitely being like wearing like before I was pregnant it wasn't too bad like I, you know I didn't I used to queue up but for rides and things in shops and it wouldn't bother me but for some reason now it's just, like people in town and going shopping is really starting to irritate me and like I don't know how I'm gonna cope with it on the run up to Christmas and going Christmas shopping but I suppose I'll just have to. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to? Probably next weekend, to be honest. Um, I've got my work Christmas fair next weekend, and I've got to make. I'm making some Christmas brownies and Christmas cookies for it. Um, so I've been will be doing a lot of baking this week um, and I've got to decorate them and everything and then on in the afternoon of the same day on Saturday um, we've got an NCT sale that we're going to be going to which is a nearly new children's sale I believe I've told you stuff about the NCT sale before but yeah it's basically you know where the, a lot of the stuff that people were selling has to be good quality um, and they're just selling their old baby bits and stuff so definitely good because you know you always get a bargain so that will be fun um but yeah other than that I mean like this next week I've just got work and I've got things to get on with here um I will hopefully be doing another video to sort of update you guys on a few other bits and pieces that I've been meaning to do for a while um so I'll try and get that done as soon as possible um so that will be like baby names and things things that people have been asking me about so I will try my hardest to cover things that you guys want me to 
cover. So if there's any more questions, leave them in, you know, the comments section below, and I shall try my hardest to answer them in that video. Um, yeah, so I shall show you my baby stuff that I got. Um, I've also been got some leaflets um, recently, ones you fill in your details and like from uh, magazines, like baby magazines and stuff. So I went and redeemed a pack, um, a baby pack today, and so I got a bunch of Johnson's baby stuff. So you get a pack of extra sensitive baby wipes, um, fragrance free or extra sensitive ones, and you get the little mini bottles of Johnson's top toe bath, nappy cream and Johnson's baby oil so that's nice because I know it's only these are only little but they're also ideal to take to the hospital with me so yeah but I've got a few other pack things I know you get stuff like this in as well I haven't redeemed them yet but I managed to remember to take this one with me you also got a um, cocoa butter formula Palmer's one I don't really like the smell of this one I have bought it before but because it's just a sample, a sample one, I probably, I might use it, um, just get past the smell of, uh, for some reason the cocoa butter, I just don't like the smell, it really irritates me, but anyway, maybe if I mix it with something else, some moisturiser or something, and also got some all brown, <laughs> red berry crunch, and just a bunch of leaflets and stuff with it, but yeah, that was nice anyway, just to have something, a little extra to put towards baby. Yeah, other than that, we went shopping. I picked up a few more bits from H&M today to go with... I was trying to find stuff that would go with her... Um, the dress that... This dress that I bought her. I've showed you guys before. This one. Because I think this is probably going to be her going home outfit. Or at least her one of her first outfits that I would like her to be presented in to people, as it were. Um, so, yeah. This... Um, so I brought this baby growth set, or vest set, um, long sleeve, so it'll be nice and warm, and both of them, oh, I can take them, yeah, it came as a pack of two, but yeah, they're really cute, this one's obviously spotty, it's zero to one month, so it's the first sizing, as it were, um, but the colouring is obviously ideal for this, um, so this will probably go underneath, and this is the other one, uh, just plain dotted one, with pretty bow again, and they're both together it's 5 99 so that was pretty good. They're fairly reasonable in H&M and they're good quality, they're really soft. Um, so yeah, that will be going underneath, and then we went to Asda, and they had, I've been searching everywhere to try and find some baby leggings, because they just don't seem to have any, like from newborn, and um, I needed some to go with the dress. And these are the only pack, it also comes with a white one, of that I could find. Um, so I brought, yeah, so it's, good. it's got an OV one, a sort of bright pinky red, it's sort of a mix between. And then this one, obviously it does have a little bit of pink at the bottom, but it doesn't matter because she's got shoes that goes with these, that will go with the outfit that I want. So it will probably cover up the little pink bit, but it doesn't matter, it's not going to be on her feet. But yeah, something to keep her legs warmer. Obviously she'll have blankets over her anyway and stuff like that. But um, it's just a little extra warmth because I didn't like the idea of seeing her legs being bare. Especially in February. So it's going to be cold. But yeah, I thought these were really cute and they're really soft. And they're quite good. They're only £5. And they're zero months. So yeah. So I really like that. Like I like the fact that I've got more as well. And I can make some other outfits up for them. And then we saw this, which was perfect, because it's the right colouring. That's the cardigan to go over the top of it. I love the detail, it's so cute. But yeah, this is £6 from Asda, George, first size. And it's just so cute. It's got like proper little de knitted detail on the back as well. I don't think you guys will be able to see very well, but yeah, I just thought this was perfect to go with this. It just looks so cute. gonna be a stylish baby <laughs> oh yeah and in H&M I forgot about this um, I picked up some leggings that I thought I you know, that I could um, they're gonna be for when she's older so I'll be probably have to you know, obviously keep them 
until then, but they were just in a box that they had of stuff they were selling off and it was only a pound. So I was like, it's a pound, why not? <laughs> so yeah, she's got some leggings for when she's older because this is like six to 12 months. So yeah. But yeah, I think that's all my baby bits. Yep. So I shall show you my 25 week belly. Well, these are the maternity jeans that I was on about. And they've got the bump, the bit that goes up and over the bump, but yeah. Quickly show you the bump in this top. This is an old top that I've had for ages and it's a little bit snug. That's why I've got um, one of my vest tops underneath. And also it's nice to layer when it's cold. I've always loved this top, but yeah, I only saw it the other day and was like, oh yeah, I could probably wear that. Let's see how well I can show you guys. <laughs> yeah, how flattering is this? High waisted. <laughs> but yeah, it goes up and over the bump, so it's really comfortable and it comes all the way down. The only problem with these jeans is that it attracts hair like anything, and having a dog isn't the best with it. <laughs> but hey, this is my belly from the front. Um, this side. 